Caillou's mommy and daddy were going away on an overnight trip. <laughs> Rosie, come too! Something tells me you wouldn't be interested in a grown-up golf trip. <laughs> but who's going to take care of us? Don't you remember? Grandma and Grandpa are going to spend the night. Yay! Grandma, Grandpa! Grandma, Grandpa! That's probably them now. Grandpa! Hi there, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. It's our pleasure. We're going to have lots of fun, aren't we, kids? Yeah! Fun! <sighs> have fun with Grandma and Grandpa! Watching Mommy and Daddy leave gave Caillou a funny feeling in his tummy. But Rosie felt even worse. No! Mommy, Daddy, no! Go! It's okay, Rosie. There, there, Rosie. We're going to have so much fun together. You and I and Grandpa and Caillou. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Caillou noticed how quiet the house was without Mommy and Daddy. Who's hungry for grilled cheese sandwiches? Me! Me! Mmm, me. <laughs> I'm hungry. Caillou loved grilled cheese sandwiches. He couldn't wait to eat lunch until Grandma served the sandwiches a little differently. That's not how Mommy makes them. She always cuts them straight across. Blue plate! Blue plate! And Mommy gives us blue plates with carrots, not celery. Not to worry. Grandpa and I just do things a little differently, but we'll work it out. Here you go. Oh, no. Those aren't for Caillou and Rosie. These ones are, right, kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about these ones? For these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop. That's right. Yay! There. Now everybody's happy. Caillou and Rosie were happy. Grandma's grilled cheese sandwiches were almost as good as Mommy's. Shoe, please. I sure can. That's not the way Mommy does it. It's a double knot to make sure they're nice and snug. There, see? Now they're <laughs> super tied, never to come undone shoes. Caillou still wasn't sure he liked how Grandpa tied his shoes. But they certainly were very snug. Where's my paddle boat? I can't find it, Caillou. How about Froggy? No, I always have a bath with my paddle boat. Well, maybe you'll just have to do things differently this time. Froggy here could be lots of fun. Caillou had to admit Froggy was kind of fun. <laughs> I don't want a different pair of jammies. I want my horsey jammies. But they're in the wash, Caillou. Oh, well, I like different jammies. Maybe they'll fit me. Hmm, how do you put on pajamas? Does this go on your head? Or maybe you wear this like a cape. Or how about backwards? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wear jammies like this. Ah, so that's how it goes on. Let's see. Goldilocks and the Three Stairs. Bears! Oh, yes, bears it is. One day, Goldilocks said, what a beautiful house in the forest. That 
That's not Goldilocks. Mommy and Daddy do the voices differently. Oh, you mean Goldilocks should sound like this? No, Goldilocks. How about like this? No, Goldilocks talks like this. Hi, I'm Goldilocks. Oh, then Mama Bear should sound like uh, I'm Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, Mama Bear talks like this. And Papa Bear talks like this. Can you like Grandma and Grandpa's new voices? <laughs> they were even sillier than Daddy's. <sighs> oh dear, we better finish this story. It's almost bedtime. Grandma, I know something different we could try. You do? What's that? Letting me and Rosie stay up late. <laughs> I think that might be a little too different for tonight. We're home! Hi, did you have a nice trip? We sure did. <laughs> What's happening over here? Mommy! Daddy! Daddy! We've decided it's okay to do things differently, like sitting upside down. Ooh, that's right. But I think sitting right side up is still my favorite. Do Grandma and Grandpa have to go now? Grandma and Grandpa, no go! I think we can stay a bit longer. Yay! Yay! Now, who wants grilled cheese sandwiches? With carrots? Me! Me! Me, Me too! Caillou and Rosie realize that doing things differently can be just as much fun. Caillou and Rosie were excited. Mommy and Daddy were taking them to the beach for the day. Perfect. I think we have everything we need. Wait, let's get some sunblock on before we go. <laughs> that tickles! Look, Mommy! The sun is hiding! I'm sure those clouds will drift away by the time we get to the beach. Now hop in! But soon it started raining. Caillou was worried he wouldn't get to play on the beach. Is the sun going to come out, Daddy? It's just a summer rain shower, Caillou. It'll stop by the time we get to the beach. <sighs> I hope. When the family arrived at the beach, it was still raining, just a little bit. Hmm, I don't know, kids. The beach looks awfully wet. Maybe we should head home and do something inside instead. No! We want to stay at the beach and have fun. Right, Rosie? Rosie, stay! Mommy, Daddy, look! The sun, see? It's peeking out. Please, can we play on the beach? We're here anyway. Okay, kids. We'll give it Yay! a try. This looks like a good spot. At least it's not crowded. Caillou was amazed at how different the beach looked without lots of people. Good thing we've got this sun umbrella to keep us dry. Yeah! Caillou wanted to laugh because Daddy looked so funny. But he was too worried Daddy might want to go home. <laughs> You're right, Rosie. Daddy made more rain. <laughs> Here you go, kids. Thanks. Thank you. Caillou felt happy. Everyone else seemed happy, too. He was sure they would have a wonderful day at the beach. Look, Daddy.
Daddy, seagulls. Where? Oopsie. Aw, oh, now look at that. There's sand in my sandwich. <laughs> Caillou wanted to make Daddy feel better. You can share my sandwich, Daddy. That's very nice of you, Caillou. It sure is. But luckily, I brought plenty of sandwiches. Hey, looks like it finally stopped raining. Caillou was happy it had stopped raining. He wanted to go and play. Come on, Rosie. Let's see if the waves can catch us. Here it comes. Run! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Even our towels are all wet. This isn't the fun time we were hoping for, is it? Well... Oh, my hat! Caillou was having fun on the beach, but it didn't look like Mommy and Daddy were having any fun at all. Maybe we should make it an early day and head home soon. Caillou didn't want to go home yet. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy how much fun a day at the beach could be, even a rainy day. Say, that's a pretty nice clamshell. Let's go find more. Well, okay, just for a little while. I don't know why we were worried about the rain. We came to the beach to get wet anyway. <laughs> Big wave! Oh no! Kids! My feet are gone. Where did they go? I know I had my feet at the picnic table. Do you think I left them in my sandals? <laughs> no. They're under the sand. <laughs> oh, phew. We found them. I'm so glad. <laughs> Look, Mommy. <laughs> we found Daddy's feet. Oh, pee you. Now what shall we do? They knew exactly what they wanted to do. All done. Do you like it, Daddy? I do. It's a terrific sand castle. Let's get a picture. Say cheese. I think the rain is coming back. This time, it really is time to go. So, did everyone have fun? Yeah! Fun! And what about Daddy? I sure did. You were right, Caillou. It was fun at the beach, even with all the rain. Yeah, I wish we could bring the beach home with us. Sand! Oh, dear. It looks like Rosie is bringing the beach home with us. That day, Caillou taught Mommy and Daddy a lesson about making the most of a rainy day. One day, Caillou just couldn't sit still. Caillou, play? No thanks, Rosie. He was excited because he knew today was a special day. Hi, Sarah. Guess what? What? Andre's coming over to play. That's nice. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe build some stuff with my building blocks? Andre might be too big for blocks. My cousin's older, too, and he mostly likes cars and sports. Well, have fun. Caillou was surprised. He thought everyone loved building blocks. Caillou was a little worried. What if Andre was too big for blocks? What if Andre was too big for all 
of Caillou's toys. Hmm. He wanted Andre to think of him as a big boy. Sorry, Rexy. So Caillou decided to hide all of his toys. his toys were put away, Caillou had a new problem. Now what are we going to play with? When will Andre be here? Very soon. Can I borrow this game? Honey, that's a grown-up game. I know. But you don't know how to play it. That's okay. Andre will. All right, if you really want to. Can I borrow that, too? You can keep it if you like. I was going to recycle it. But why? Thank you. Caillou thought his room looked very grown up. But he was worried that one game wouldn't be enough. Ball? It should be in there. All I can find are Rosie's baby toys. I didn't know Rosie liked Dino Mega Tramplers. Daddy, do big kids play catch? They sure do. In fact, I play catch every weekend with my ball team. It's great exercise. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. <gasps> can I borrow that? My glove? It'd be awfully big. Caillou, Andre's here. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Andre. Want to play catch? Sure. I wish I brought my glove. Ready, Andre? Here's the wind up and the pitch. <gasps> <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Oops! Oh! <gasps> uh, I don't know what's wrong. I'm good at catch, really. Maybe you need a smaller glove. That one's twice as big as mine. Huh? Boys, are you ready for lunch? Yeah! Yeah! I'm starving. I hope you like veggie sticks and grilled cheese sandwiches. I love them. Me too. Mom, why'd you cut the crusts off? That's for little kids. It is? Well, I guess I'll leave them on next time. Sorry. Sometimes my mom forgets how big I am. <laughs> Mine too. Wow, your room is really clean. Mine has toys all over the place. Hey, you like the Zoom Up 3000? Yeah, it's my favorite. What's your second favorite? Um, red cars? <gasps> hey, do you want to play this game? Sure. Um, how do you play this game? I thought you would know. I've never played it before. I can't find the spinner. Do you see any plastic parts? Maybe they fell out. <gasps> <laughs> so here's all your toys. I knew they had to be somewhere. 
nobody's that tidy. Uh, those are my old toys. I don't even play with them anymore. Why not? You have great stuff. Hey, I have the same train. Let's build a tunnel for it with the blocks. <gasps> you play with building blocks? Sure. You don't think blocks are babyish, do you? No, blocks are great. I have train tracks too. Is it okay if Rexy watches? Sure, why not? I'm never gonna be too big to play with toys. Rawr! Caillou and Andre played happily with the toys for the rest of the day. <laughs> Caillou didn't feel like playing hopscotch with Mommy and Rosie. He was waiting for his friend Sarah to get home. <sighs> Yay! Sarah's back! Now she can play! Caillou! Come and meet my new dog! Sarah has a dog! Can we go see? Of course. Doggy! <laughs> yes. Meet the newest <laughs> member of our family. His name is Murphy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Doggy nice. Yes, the doggy is very nice. Congratulations. Thanks. It'll be nice to have another family pet. Oh, <laughs> and it looks like Murphy is eager to check out his new home. I'd better take him inside. Bye, Murphy. Nice meeting you. Do you want to come over and play with me? No, thanks. I want to show Murphy my room. Caillou was a little surprised that Sarah didn't want to play with him. He'd been waiting for her all morning. But maybe we can play together later, okay? Okay. So, who'd like to go to the park today? Me! Can we invite Sarah? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to come to the park with us? We can pretend the climber is a sailboat, just like last time. Um, no thanks. Again he was surprised. He couldn't believe Sarah didn't want to go to the park with him. Why not? I'm going to give Murphy a bath. You can stay and help me, if it's okay with your dad. Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to stay and give Murphy a bath. He'd been looking forward to his trip to the park. Well, um, okay. I guess it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy! <laughs> Isn't this great, Caillou? It's fun giving a dog a bath. Yeah, fun. What's that smell? I don't know. Wet dog, I guess. So, how was it bathing Murphy? Wet and smelly. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yes, it looks like you could use a bath now, too. Caillou, it's for you. Hi, Caillou. Do you want to come for a walk with me and my mom? Sure. Caillou loved going for walks with Sarah and her mom. <coughs> oh, and Murphy's coming, of course. <coughs> Do you want to play jump over the cracks with me, Sarah? No, thanks. How about I spy? Uh, uh, maybe later. Heal, Murphy. Heal. <sighs> Sarah, can I walk Murphy? Well, okay, but he pulls a bit. I can handle it. Okay. Oh, thank goodness.
goodness. I'm so sorry. I don't know what got into Murphy. I guess we have a lot more dog training to do. Like this, Caillou. Ugh. What's that one called? That yoga position is called Downward Facing Dog. Dog? No wonder I don't like it. Oh, that'll be Sarah. Sarah's coming over? Yes, didn't I tell you? We've agreed to watch Murphy this evening while Sarah and her family are out. Caillou wasn't very happy with Murphy. He wished he would go away so he and Sarah could play like they used to. Caillou, is everything okay? Not when Murphy is around. <sighs> Sarah never wants to play with me anymore. All she wants to do is play with Murphy. Oh, I see. Why do you think Sarah wants to spend so much time with her dog? I don't know. Maybe because she likes him better than me. Sarah still <laughs> likes you very much. But Murphy is new to their family, and that's very exciting for her. Do you remember when Rosie was born? Even though Rosie was just a baby, all you wanted to do was play with your little sister. Yeah, but Murphy's a lot more drooly and hairy than Rosie. <laughs> that's true, but I'm sure Murphy can be just as much fun. sure look like you're having fun. Murphy's great. We played ball and went for a walk. And I'm even teaching him how to heal. Really? That's great. I can see why you like spending all your time with him. Well, I don't want to spend all my time with Murphy. I want to play with you too. Do you want to come over tomorrow? Sure, we could play catch and Murphy could play with us too. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it, Murphy? And that's how Caillou learned he could be friends with Sarah and Murphy. Did you have fun at preschool today, Caillou? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. A picture of Gilbert. Do you like it? I love it, Caillou. It looks just like him. We have a surprise for you, too. Grandpa's coming over, and he's going to take you somewhere special. That's probably him now. Grandpa, where are you taking me? <laughs> what, no hug, Caillou? <laughs> That's better. Now, I'll tell you. I'm going to take you bowling. Bowling? Caillou was surprised. He had never been bowling before. Isn't that for grown-ups? No, I learned how to bowl when I was your age. And now I'm going to teach you at the bowling alley. The bowling alley? Couldn't we just bowl in the backyard? I think you'll really like the bowling alley, Caillou. It has bowling pins and balls, and it's a fun place to get some exercise. What do you say we give it a try? Okay. Here we are. At first, Caillou was a little nervous, especially when he heard the loud knocking of the pins. Yeah! But when Caillou looked around, he was pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, look! It's my friend Sarah! Sarah! Seeing a friend at the bowling alley made Caillou feel even better. Are we going to play now, Grandpa? As soon as we get our shoes. Can't I wear my own shoes? I'm afraid not, Caillou. These are special shoes made for bowling on the wooden alleys. This is my grandson's first time bowling. Well, you're in for a fun time there, laddie. Let's see. I'll put you in lane three. 
Lane 3. Thanks, Amos. Now you look like a champion bowler. So we each get a few practice balls, and here's where we get them from. It's called the ball return. You be careful when we're grabbing a ball. We don't want the balls to pinch our fingers. Okay, Grandpa. I'll be careful. Now, do you see those pins? The idea of the game is to knock down as many pins as you can. Each pin is worth points. This computer will keep track of our points and tell us our score. Now watch your old grandpa. I'll show you how to throw the ball. Wow, Grandpa, you knocked them all down. Indeed. When that happens, it's called a strike. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. Uh, it's heavy, Grandpa. Maybe you should roll the ball down the alley with both hands, like your friend Sarah. When the ball lands on the side like that, it's called a gutter ball. It happens to everyone, <laughs> even me. The trick is to aim the ball right down the middle. Try again. I did it! I knocked down a pin! Now Caillou was feeling more confident. <laughs> Hooray, Caillou! I knew you could do it. Now, there's one more thing I need to teach you. Really? What's that? My handy-dandy bowling high five. Now we're ready to play. Oh, do you think Sarah and her mom could play with us, Grandpa? Sure, I don't see why not. Let's ask them. Your mom is good, just like Grandpa. Look at all the strikes. She plays on a team with other bowlers. They get lots of practice. It's your turn, Caillou. Yeah! I knocked down a pin! That's the way, Caillou. Caillou, you're doing very well. Thanks again for the game. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Sarah. That was fun. I'm glad you think so, Caillou, because I have another surprise for you. Caillou could hardly wait to see what the next surprise would be. So, did you have a good game? We sure did. Caillou bowled a terrific game for a beginner. Well then, this is for you. For me? But I didn't win. Everybody wins when they come out and try something new, Caillou. You deserve a ribbon. Wow, thanks. And I threw the ball and knocked down the pins and we wore special shoes. And look, the nice man at the counter gave me a ribbon. I'm so proud of you, Caillou. Yes, it sounds like you had lots of fun at the bowling alley. I did! Does this mean you'll go bowling with me again? Yes! Can we go tomorrow? Caillou had learned that it's always good to try new things, like bowling. <laughs> Like playing trucks. The only thing he liked better was playing trucks with a friend. Caillou! 
There's fresh lemonade inside the truck stop. Yay! Mommy, can you play trucks with me? Maybe later. I have to do some cleaning, and Rosie wants to help. It might take a while. Sweep. Hmm. Sweep. Okay. Sweep. 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 Hmm. <gasps> Hi there, Cricket. Do you like trucks? Caillou was happy to meet a cricket who seemed to like trucks, too. Do you want to play with me? Okay, I have more trucks in my room. I'll show you. Here's my dump truck. And here's a fire truck. Want to ride in the bucket? put you somewhere safe. I know. There. That's better. Oh, I guess you can't play chucks in there. Hey, are you hungry? I'll get you a snack. Caillou wasn't sure what crickets like to eat, so... He took a little of everything. Do you like raisins or cereal? Try an animal cracker. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's not a real lion. Caillou was proud of himself. He thought he was treating his new friend very well. You know, if you like it here, you can stay and live in my room. Sweep. Okay, if you want to. Sweep. 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 No, don't sweep that. Oh. Here, do you want a cracker? Cracker. Thank you. Hey, Rosie, why don't you go sweep the kitchen? <gasps> Gilbert, no! Stop! You'll scare him! Whoa! Say something? Daddy could see that Caillou was very worried. It's okay, Caillou. We'll try to find him. But he's so small and hard to see. That's true. Sometimes crickets are hard to see. That's why the best way to find one is with your ears. What sound does a cricket make? Hmm. Right. We have to listen for that sound and follow it until we find the cricket. Now, shh. Shh. That way! <gasps> He's somewhere here. Good. Now, 
Let's listen and look. <gasps> Ooh, it's just cereal. Cricket! There he is! Easy. Gotcha! Yay, Daddy! Yay! It's a good thing he makes that sound. Do you know how he does it? He takes those two little wings on his back and rubs them together. I like the sound of crickets, only not in the house. But I like playing with him. It's fun. I wonder if the cricket thinks being inside is fun. Caillou wasn't sure about that. Um, crickets like grass and trees, not cats and vacuum cleaners. He looks sad. Maybe I should take him back outside. I think that's a very good idea. playing chucks by myself. Would it be okay if Rosie and I played too? Yeah, I'll get more trucks. <laughs> Caillou's Cricket was happy to be back where he belonged. Watch me score. Oops, I'll get it. Now watch this. Oops, missed. Are you boys ready? Yeah! Awesome! Do you have all of your gear? I think so. Well, let's check. Cleats? Check. check. Soccer jerseys? Check. check. Shin pads? check a -rooney. <laughs> Me too. Oh, we'd better get going. We don't want to keep Grandma waiting. Grandma? I thought your grandpa was coaching. Grandpa hurt his shoulder, so grandma's gonna coach the team. Does your grandma know we get frozen juice pops after each game? I made sure I told her. Hmm. Hmm. Wow! I got it! I... Oh well, that's what practice is for, right? Yes. Yeah! It was time to join the rest of the team. Soccer camp was about to begin. Welcome! You may know me as Caillou's grandma, but from now on, you can call me coach. Aww. Now, I know many of you were expecting Caillou's grandpa to be here, but don't worry. I know my way around a soccer field, and we're all going to have lots of fun while we learn. Does that sound good? Yeah! 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 The children couldn't wait to start practicing. But then they noticed something rather strange. Hey, where are the balls? Hmm. Grandma, I think you forgot the balls. Balls? Oh, no. There's too much to learn before we get to them. Okay, children, line up in two rows. We're going to do some drills. Drills? How are we supposed to practice soccer without any balls? Go! <laughs> Yay! That's it. Uh -oh. Now, backwards. Okay. Oh. Arms out straight. Like you're flying. Aww. What kind of drill is this? Huh? I want to be a soccer player, not a bird. Oh. Whoa, this is yes. not Ooh. so easy. Uh -oh. Whoa. Here. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to walking with a bean bag on my head. Me neither. I don't think real soccer players walk with bean bags on their heads. It was several days later 
And Caillou and his friends still hadn't played with a real ball. Do you think we'll get to use the balls today? <sighs> I don't know. Look! Finally! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're not kicking the balls today. We're exercising with them. Caillou, come over here and we'll show everyone together. Here you go. Now raise the ball like this. Make sure you stretch those muscles. Bye, Leo. Bye, Caillou. Mom, do I have to come to soccer camp tomorrow? Soccer camp wasn't what Caillou and Leo expected. And now, to make matters worse, Leo wanted to quit. This is our last practice until our first game. Are you ready? I can't hear you. I really can't hear you. Whoa. Caillou, dear, what's the matter? Caillou didn't know what to say to Grandma. He didn't want to hurt her feelings. Um, nothing. Are you sure? You can tell me if something is bothering you. Well, um, Grandpa let us play soccer when he was coach, and now we're just doing drills. I'm sorry if our practices aren't as much fun as Grandpa's. Perhaps we need to balance learning new skills and having fun on the field. One thing's for sure. Grandpa and I both want you to be better players. And guess what? I see much improvement. Clementine, try hitting this ball with any part of your body except your hands, okay? Okay. The bean bags may seem unusual, but they have their purpose. And my other drills will make you better players, too, if you just trust me. Okay, Sounds all right. Good. It was the last day of camp, and Caillou and his friends were excited to show their parents what they had learned. Like Grandma knew a thing or two about coaching, after all. Congratulations, team! You've all passed soccer camp with flying colors. Yay! I've got one last drill left. No more bean bags. <laughs> Juice pops. Yes. yes. Grandma's drills may have been unusual but the children learned how to be better players. And that made everyone proud. <laughs> okay, raise those hands as high as you can and try to touch the sky. Now reach and we're done. Wow, great job stretching everyone. Now. I've got a treat for you. We're going to have a party tomorrow with lots of dancing. Yeah! Caillou was excited about the party until he realized he didn't know how to dance. I've never danced at a party before. Have you, Leo? No, but it sounds like fun. Okay, here we go. Caillou wanted to be ready for the dance party the next day. But he was afraid of making a mistake. Ah! Whoa, whoa, Gilbert! Whoa! whoa. Ah! Ah! You're right, Gilbert. I need help. Hey, Caillou. What are you doing? Well, 
Um, there's a party tomorrow at preschool, and I don't know how to dance. I can show you. I used to be quite the dancer back in high school. Caillou was fascinated with Daddy's dance style. He wanted to try some of Daddy's moves. <laughs> the key to dancing is to listen to the rhythm of the music. Oops. Oopsie! Sorry, Caillou. Looks like our dance lesson is over. Maybe Mommy could give you a few pointers. Okay. Thanks, Daddy. Mommy, Miss Martin is having a party tomorrow with dancing. Oh, that sounds like fun. I guess so, but I'm not sure how to dance. There's no right or wrong way, Caillou. To each his own. Can you show me how you dance? <laughs> well, I did take ballet lessons for many years. Kaya was amazed. He had no idea his mommy could dance so well. Mommy, but I don't think this kind of dancing is for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rosie, honey, time to put that away now. Grandma and Grandpa are here. Grandma, Grandpa, there's a party tomorrow at preschool. Can you show me how to dance? Oh, hold up there, Rosie. Can I have the remote control for mm -hmm. a moment? My lady, it's time to tango. Very impressed with Grandma and Grandpa's dancing. He wanted to try it too. Rosie, tango. Lovely tango. Don't worry, we'll get that later. You did a great job, Caillou and Rosie. <laughs> Caillou wasn't convinced. In fact, he was more confused than ever. There were so many different ways to dance, but he didn't seem to be good at any of them. <sighs> <sighs> Even Rosie knows how to dance. Everybody can dance but me. <laughs> The next day, Caillou was unusually quiet on his way to preschool. Is anything wrong, Caillou? I still don't know how to dance. What am I gonna do? The party is today. Caillou, there's no right or wrong way to dance. The important thing is to have fun. I guess so. <laughs> You'll have lots of fun. You'll see. Are we all ready to dance? Yeah! Yes. Yeah! Yay. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, join me! Miss Martin was having so much fun dancing. Caillou seemed to forget all about how nervous he was.
Mayu decided his classmates shouldn't have all the fun. He was going to give it a try. Caillou was really getting into the swing of things, so much so, he decided to try a few of his own dance steps. Yeah, yeah! Woohoo! Look at Caillou go! Yeah! yeah! Wow, nice moves, Caillou! What's your secret? I learned that it doesn't matter how you dance, as long as you're having fun! <laughs> Well said, Caillou. Caillou and Rosie were having fun playing together. Rosie liked copying her big brother. one sound you won't be able to copy, Rosie. Are you getting hungry, Caillou? Is it almost dinner time? It is, and it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's pizza night! I love pizza night! Did somebody mention pizza night? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we make pizza tonight? But we always order pizza. It might be a nice change, Caillou. We have fresh dough in the refrigerator and lots of yummy toppings, so we can make pizza just the way we like it. Caillou wasn't so sure. Making pizza seemed like it would take a long time. Wouldn't it be faster if the pizza man brought pizza to our house? Faster isn't always better, Caillou. Besides, there's nothing more fun than making homemade pizza. Okay, Mommy, I'm ready to help. First, you need to wash your hands. And you too, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough soap for now. Now that your hands are nice and clean, I have a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Every chef needs an apron. Flowers! And a dinosaur, just like Rexy. Now we look like real chefs, Rosie. Here you go. You each get some pizza dough. This doesn't look like pizza. That's because we have to turn it into pizza. And to do that, <laughs> we have to knead and roll the dough. It feels squishy, like modeling clay. <laughs> you have pizza dough on your nose, Rosie, like a clown. <laughs> Now, we're ready to roll the dough. Give it a try, Caillou. Back and forth with your rolling pin. <laughs> it's working! It's getting flat! That's it, Caillou! <laughs> Look, Rosie! There's one big pizza and two little ones. Can I have my own pizza, Daddy? Both you and Rosie can have your own pizza. And you can decorate it. But first, we need to put on some tomato sauce. I can do that. Oh no! I got sauce on my apron! That's all right, Caillou. That's what aprons are for. To help keep your clothes clean while you work in the kitchen. Rosie thought her apron needed some pizza sauce too. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough pizza sauce for now. It's time to put on the pizza toppings. Mmm, tomatoes, chicken, spinach, <laughs> onions, yuck! That's okay, Caillou. You don't have to put onions on your pizza. Caillou began decorating his pizza. He was being very careful not to let anyone see it. How's it going, Caillou? Great! I'm making a picture, but I want it to be a surprise. Do you like my pizza? It's a picture of me. Oh, yes, I can see that. It looks just like you, Caillou. I think it's time to put these pizzas in the oven. Can I help? Sorry, Caillou. This is a job for grown-ups. The oven is very hot. 
But you could help me set the timer. Okay. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Push this little button right here, Caillou. Now we'll wait for the timer to ring and tell us when the pizzas are done. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to wait for the pizzas to be done. He wanted to eat right away. I'm hungry too, Caillou, but you can't rush a good pizza. was growing tired of waiting for the timer to ring. Five more minutes. I don't think these pizzas are ever going to cook, Mommy. Maybe we should play for a few minutes until they're done. I know! We can play restaurant! I'll be the waiter and you can be my customers, okay? Okay. Okay. I've never been to Caillou's Pizza Parlor before. <gasps> what a lovely place! My name is Caillou, and I'll be your waiter. Can I take your pizza order? Sure. Let's see. We'd like to order 22 pizzas, please. We're very hungry. <laughs> okay. What would you like on them? Caillou was having fun being a waiter. He even <laughs> pretended to write down his customers' orders. Let's see. We'll have one with chicken and mushrooms. Peppers! That's right. Peppers. And how about a pineapple and ham pizza? <laughs> or maybe a cauliflower and mashed potato pizza. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Soon Caillou was laughing so much, he forgot all about the real pizzas cooking in the oven. Until... <laughs> Our pizzas! They're ready! What do you think, Caillou? It's yummy. I think we should make pizza every Friday night. It sounds to me like Caillou's Pizza Parlor is a big success. <laughs> it sure is. And that's how Caillou learned that making food at home can be lots of fun. Today, Caillou was joining Mommy on her trip to the mall. For company, he brought along Augie the Super Owl, who had a very special superpower. <coughs> what does Augie see, Caillou? Augie sees Daddy's golf clubs behind the seat in the trunk. Wow! It's pretty handy being able to see through things, isn't it? Augie also sees that my tummy is empty and needs some ice cream. <laughs> nice try. Mommy took Caillou to the store where they sell glasses. She had an appointment to see the eye doctor. Caillou hadn't spent much time thinking about his eyes before. Until today, he didn't know how important it was to get your eyes checked. Your vision looks good. Yay! Now it's my turn. Your turn? Well then, do you know your alphabet? Yes. Then I have just the test for you. It's called an eye chart. You hold this over one of your eyes. Then with your other eye, you read the alphabet letters in each row, saying them out loud for me. Ready? E. Good. Next row. F. P. The letters on the eye chart got smaller and smaller, but Caillou managed to read them all with both eyes, even the teeny tiny letters. When the test was over, the eye doctor told Caillou that his vision wasn't just good, it was very good. Enjoy your new reading glasses. Mommy, you need glasses? But the eye doctor said your eyes were good. They are. But for some things, I need special glasses to see properly. Like the special glasses that help Augie see through things? <laughs> no. Mine only help me read things up close. 
like this. Can I get glasses too? You don't need them. Your vision is perfect, remember? Caillou was sure that wearing special glasses would help his eyes too. He wanted to be able to see through things like Augie could. Caillou really wanted his own pair of glasses. But he knew Mommy wouldn't get him a pair unless he couldn't see properly. Is that a dog on the cover, Mommy? No, it's a person. Really? Wow, you're right. It is a person. Are you having trouble seeing things up close all of a sudden? Yes. Hmm. What about far away things? Uh, yes, both. Well, we'd better be sure. What do you see over there? Uh, I think it's a horse. It's a motorcycle. Ugh, see, Mommy? I do need glasses. Caillou! Look what I got for you. <gasps> a new soccer ball! Caillou, why is it that you can't see the motorcycle across the street, but you can easily see a soccer ball that's much smaller? Uh-oh. Is somebody having trouble with his eyes? <sighs> no, I'm not. I just really want my own glasses. Like Mommy and Augie. These are my old glasses, Caillou. Now that I have new ones, I don't need these anymore. Whoa! Thanks! They're empty! Glasses need lenses. That's what makes them glasses. Caillou suddenly had an idea to make his own lenses. Look! I'm like Augie! Those glasses look a little cloudy. No, I can see. I can see. <laughs> now that Caillou finally had his own glasses, he couldn't wait to see through walls and doors like Augie the Super Owl could. But no matter how long he stared at his closet, or how close he got, he couldn't see through it. Why aren't they working? Caillou thought maybe his glasses weren't working, because they weren't green like Augie's. Caillou decided to test out his glasses on Gilbert's cat bed. He thought he could see a cat inside. Nice, Gilbert. Ew! You're not Gilbert! It was only when Caillou took off his glasses that he realized how sharp everything looked again. Glasses back. I don't need them anymore. Are you sure? Yes. I can see much better without them. Besides, they don't work. What do you mean, Caillou? They don't light up, so I can't see through walls like Augie can. Oh, honey. No glasses can do that. I know. I was just hoping maybe they would. Hey, Caillou. There's some old glasses of mine you might like to try. They're not for seeing better. They're just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let me see through things, but they do make everyone laugh. That's even better. Caillou had realized how important his eyesight was, with or without glasses. We're almost there. Caillou and Leo were very excited. They were going to the ice rink <laughs> to play hockey together. Uh. Yay! I scored! <laughs> That's 
because you didn't have me for a goalie. Playing ringette. Ring it? What's ring it? It's ringette. And it's really fun. Do you want to play with us? Caillou had never heard of ringette before, but he didn't want to play that game. Can't we play hockey? <laughs> it's way more fun. Yeah. How do you know if you've never played ringette? I don't know. It just is. Uh huh. Sorry, but we're already in the middle of a game. Caillou and Leo tried to play hockey in the snow, but it wasn't the same as playing on the ice. <sighs> nice shot. Thanks. Come on, boys. It's time to start heading back home. How come you didn't want to play with Sarah and Clementine? Because they're playing ringette. We wanted to play hockey. Hockey's better. Yeah. Ringette sounds too easy. I like hockey, too. But maybe you could have given ringette a chance. Did you know Mommy used to play it? Mommy played ringette? Yes, and she was very good at it. She never told me that. Mommy, what do you know about ringette? Ringette? Oh, I think I know a little something. Oh, I haven't looked at these things in years. I used to be captain of my team. It was a lot of fun. Wow! So, how do you play? I'll show you. You know, I think this game is much better when it's played outside. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try a ringette stick, Caillou? No, thanks. Yours doesn't have a blade, like mine. This is true. Ringette sticks don't have blades, which makes it easier to do this. <gasps> hey! How about a little game of keep away? Huh? You know, you might find it easier if you try a ringette stick instead of using that old hockey stick. Caillou had decided Mommy was right. He was curious to see what it was like to play with a ringette stick. So you just need to catch that ring with this stick? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. Pass me the ring, Mommy. I wasn't ready, but now I am. Caillou tried to catch the ring, but it was much harder than he thought. Oopsie. Huh? Whoa! Much harder than Caillou thought. I did it! Woohoo! Good job, Caillou. You're learning. Uh-huh. Now it's my turn to pass. Oops, sorry. No problem. Wow! How did you do that? I've had lots of practice, but it's not so easy, is it? 
especially when you're playing on ice, trying to score on the goalie in net. A goalie? Hmm. Caillou suddenly realized that ringette sounded an awful lot like another sport he knew. <gasps> hockey. Ringette is a lot like hockey, Mommy. Yes, that's true. And just like hockey, it takes a lot of practice in order to get good at it. Practice, huh? The next day, Caillou and Leo arrived at the ice rink early with Daddy. Did you watch the hockey game last night, Leo? Yeah. Well, until I went to bed. But did you see that goal? It was great. Hi, guys. Looks like you got here first. So I guess it's your turn to have the rink. Is it okay if we play hockey with you? Nope. Sorry, you can't. <gasps> <gasps> but we can all play ringette together! <laughs> I'm sorry for not wanting to play ringette with you before. I didn't know what it was, but now I do. It's a lot like hockey. Really? It's like hockey? Like hockey, because it's just as much fun. Yeah! From that day on, Caillou was happy to try new games. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Well done, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. Now it's my turn to play the song. You sure you don't want me to show you the notes one more time? I watched you play them all week. I'm ready to play. Yes, you are. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you... <laughs> you might want to just practice playing the notes for now. No singing or clapping? Not yet. But once you remember how to play the notes, doing everything all together will be easy. Caillou was determined to practice the song until he could play it and sing it and clap it for Mummy and Daddy. Drum. Okay. Rosie! Don't bang those either. Don't bang anything. Put them away. Away? Being a little too loud? Rosie, honey, Caillou is trying to practice his song. It'll be a lot easier for him if you don't make any loud noises. Okay. song starts. The rest of the words are different. <laughs> I promise I'll teach them to you later, if you promise not to sing while I'm practicing. Will she no sing? That's right. No singing. away now. No. 
you heard Mommy. If you're making noise, I can't practice my song. No noise. Promise. Ah. <sighs> Caillou was delighted. Rosie was being very quiet. Just like she had promised to be. Caillou tried to ignore Rosie's dancing, but it was very hard. He was beginning to feel frustrated. Did I miss the big concert? It's just about to start. Where's Rosie? She's going to miss my song. I'm afraid she's still in her room. Caillou suddenly wondered if he had hurt Rosie's feelings. I'll go get her. that Rosie was trying to bother him while he was practicing. Now he realized she just wanted to join his music fun. I'm sorry for telling you to leave me alone, Rosie. I think I know how to make it up to you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Marvelous. Bravo! Bravo! Great show, you two. Well done. <laughs> Letting Rosie join your concert was a wonderful idea, Caillou. Rosie play song! Yes, you did. Caillou was proud of his sister, and he was proud of himself for including Rosie in his concert. One day, Caillou and Leo came to preschool in a very good mood. Today's gonna be fun. It's finally our turn to feed the hamster. I know, and look what I brought for music time. A harmonica. I thought we weren't allowed to bring stuff from home. Miss Martin said it was okay, just for today. I can't wait to play it for her. Good morning, children. You're not Miss Martin. <laughs> you noticed. No, I'm Miss Shelley. I'll be teaching your class for a couple of days. Why? Is Miss Martin sick? No, no. She's just taking a couple of days off to help her sister with her new baby. So in the meanwhile, you're stuck with me. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that a toy from home I see? Yes, but... Then it goes right back in your bag, my dear. I know the rule about no toys from home. Now, it's a beautiful day out there. So, who'd like to put the sunny day magnet on the calendar? Kyle, how about you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Caillou. Oh, pardon me. Caillou. Right. Today is Monday. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Miss Shelley, can Caillou and I feed Hamish now? It's our turn. The hamster? Oh, I'm sorry. I already fed him this morning. Didn't I? And my little chubby cheeks was so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> It's no fair. It was our turn to feed him, and she took it. I know. 
And she called me Kyle again at the water fountain. She gets everything wrong. I wish Miss Martin were here. At least we have music next. That's always fun. All right, everyone. Let's head back inside. Time to finger paint. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> but we always have music now. Well then, I guess today is special. Now scoot inside, please, and find yourself a painting smock. Caillou didn't think he liked his substitute teacher very much. Nice picture, Caillou. I see you got to finger paint today. Yeah. I don't like finger painting. You don't? Well, that's new. How was your day? I know you had a substitute teacher. Yeah, and she's no fun. Miss Shelley does everything wrong. We didn't even have music. Can I stay home till Miss Martin comes back? It sounds like you had a rough day. Do you remember your first day at preschool? You didn't know anyone's name or where to hang up your coat. What was that like? It was hard, but Miss Martin helped me, and then it was okay. Well, today was Miss Shelley's first day, and Miss Martin wasn't there to help her. Caillou hadn't thought about it that way. Why don't you give Miss Shelley another chance? Maybe you could even help her, the way Miss Martin helped you. Me? Help Miss Shelley? Hmm. Time for the good morning circle. Take your seats. Can I clean the board for you? Miss Martin likes it all clean. Well, aren't you helpful? Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Caillou didn't like being called Kyle, but he decided to be patient. My name is Caillou. Oh, Caillou. I'm sorry. I'll remember that from now on, because Caillou rhymes with sky blue, like your beautiful painting yesterday. Now, there was something else I needed to remember. Someone I was supposed to feed. Oh, our hamster! Right, of course. Since you and Caillou missed your turn yesterday, would you like to feed Hamish? There's your breakfast. Caillou's getting your water. Excuse me. Are you trying to get into the music cupboard? Yes. It just won't open. I had the same problem yesterday, which is why we didn't have music. I know how to get in. It's tricky. Miss Martin leans on it while she turns the handle. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Caillou. <sighs> there are just so many things to learn when you come into a new place. Can I help? I know everything about our preschool. <laughs> everything? Well, that's terrific news. Do you think you could show me where you all sit for music time? Sure, it's right over here. Miss Shelley, I brought something from home for music yesterday, but I didn't get to use it. Miss Martin said it was okay. Is it okay with you? Mm-hmm. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The horn on the bus goes... The horn on the bus goes... Beep, beep, beep. All through the town. <laughs> Yay! Wow, you're a good singer. Well, anyone can sound good with a great band behind them. Now, promise me you'll play that song for Miss Martin tomorrow. Tomorrow? You're leaving? Oh. No. I know. I'll miss you too. Will you come back again sometime? You bet I will, Kyle. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> Sometimes change is good. Having a new teacher turned out to be a lot of fun. Yeah! <laughs> Follow me! 
to play follow the leader. <laughs> because it meant everyone could play together. <laughs> <laughs> now hop backwards. Well, almost everyone. Andy was new to Caillou's preschool, and he wasn't joining in the fun. Uh, oh, sorry, Andy. Do you want to play follow the leader? No. Andy lives on my street. I ask him to play at the park, but he never wants to play. Really? Why? I don't know. Caillou didn't believe that Andy didn't want to play. Everybody liked to play with friends. Hi, Andy. Do you want to do a puzzle with me? No. What are you drawing? Nothing. I'm just trying to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends either. Caillou was upset. His feelings were hurt by what Andy said. And he was still upset about it later that night. Dinner's almost ready, Caillou. My goodness. Why the long face? Long face? That means, why do you look so sad? Andy at preschool doesn't like me. Really? Did he tell you that? He said he didn't want to play with me and didn't want to be my friend. So I said I didn't want to be his friend either. But I thought you liked being friends with everybody. Yeah, I do. So you didn't mean it when you said you didn't want to be friends. And maybe Andy didn't really mean what he said either. You need to think about why Andy said what he did. Maybe he just didn't want to play what you were playing. I'm going to keep trying to be friends with Andy. That's my Caillou. was determined to be friends with Andy. Hi, Andy. Want to play? No. You don't like soccer? What games do you like? I like tag and follow the leader and hide and seek. <sighs> but being Andy's friend was certainly harder than he thought it would be. I'll be there soon. I want to ask Daddy something. Daddy, how can I find out what someone else is thinking? You could just ask them. But what if they don't talk much? Well, that makes it harder for sure. Hmm. You could try to see things from their point of view. How do you do that? Try to see the world the way that they do. Like you're seeing out of their eyes. Like this? I'm seeing the same way Gilbert does. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Caillou decided to try seeing things from Andy's point of view. Follow me! <laughs> okay! okay. <laughs> Caillou had to admit the other children were pretty loud. Maybe Andy didn't like loud noises. <laughs> you look like you're thinking hard about something, Caillou. Andy really likes drawing. Yes, he certainly does. He doesn't like running around making noise like the rest of us do. <laughs> no. Different children like to play in different ways. Caillou suddenly knew how he could be Andy's friend. 
He would play with Andy the way Andy liked to play. Tag, you're it, Caillou. Thanks, but I don't want to play tag today. I'm it! Here I come! Caillou waited for Andy to talk first. What's that? I'm drawing a castle. You should draw flags. Castles always have flags on top. Oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> hey, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm playing follow the leader. Huh? Andy's the leader. <laughs> Caillou was pretty sure that he and Andy were friends now, even if they didn't exactly say so in words. Here I come! <laughs> you can't get me! <laughs> gotcha! Now you're it! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy, but Caillou had made a new friend. And it was wonderful. One morning, Mommy gave Caillou his favorite cereal and berries for breakfast. But Caillou was too excited to eat. Let's put the fire out. Pshh. Mommy, did you know that fire trucks have ladders? Yes, I did know that. I also know we're going to be late if you don't hurry up and finish your breakfast. You don't want to miss your field trip to the fire station, do you? <gasps> no! Mommy, can I take my truck to the fire station? I suppose so. It is a special day. Yay! All right, time to go. Hurry and brush your teeth. Okay, I'll pretend I'm a firefighter and I have to get ready really quickly. This will be great. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, boy. Good morning, everyone. I just spoke with the fire chief, and I have some sad news about our field trip. The firefighters are busy putting out a house fire right now, so I'm afraid we'll have to visit the fire station some other day. Aww. But don't worry, we're still going on a trip. How would you like to visit an indoor butterfly garden? Butterflies? But we can see those anytime. You know, butterflies can be really interesting. I'd rather sit in a fire truck. Well, things don't always go the way we plan. So let's make the best of it, okay? <sighs> okay. <laughs> This is no fair. Butterflies are boring. Yeah, it's a good thing I brought this to play with. Wow, nice fire truck. Does the ladder go up and down? Yes, and the door's open too, see? Stay on the paths, everyone. Whoa! Isn't it beautiful? There are many different kinds of butterflies living here, and all sorts of plants that the butterflies like. That one is coneflower. And this one is the monarch butterfly's favorite. It's called milkweed. Do they eat it? Yes, and they do something else with it, too. Have a look under the leaves of these plants. You may find something interesting. Drive! 
Caillou, I see you're giving fire truck rides. Yes, um, I think he likes it. Maybe, but why don't we let him get back to eating milkweed? Eating is an important activity for him. It is? Why? Because caterpillars need to eat a lot to get ready for the next part of their life. What's the next part? Miss Martin, we found something under a leaf. Wonderful. Let's go see. Come on. This might answer your question. It's under here. Look. Good work. You found a chrysalis. When a caterpillar gets to a certain age, it hangs underneath a leaf or a branch and forms a shell around itself called a chrysalis. And inside, it's changing. Changing what? Clothes? No. The caterpillar is changing into a grown-up. Hey, I see a wing. I thought you said a caterpillar was in there. It was a caterpillar, but now it's changed into its grown-up form. You mean caterpillars grow up to be butterflies? That's right. This one is called a monarch butterfly. Wow! Let's leave it alone to hatch. Maybe after its wings have dried, it'll fly over to say hello. Bye. See you later. So, wasn't it fun learning about butterflies today? It yes. was. I know a little poem about butterflies. Tell you what, I'll do the actions and you can follow along. Okay? Yeah. Okay! Yes! Caterpillars munch, 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 and then they hide. They make a chrysalis to sleep inside. Each will change into a butterfly and fly, fly, fly into the sky. I'm a butterfly! Caillou was having a very good time. He was glad he came to the butterfly garden. Wonderful. Great flying, everyone. What a fun way to end the day. End the day? But we just got here. <laughs> Sounds like you had so much fun. The day just flew by. <laughs> but the school bus is waiting, so now it's time for us to flutter home. <laughs> Miss Martin! I found something. My fire truck. I almost forgot I brought it. Thank you. <gasps> Look! Oh, hold still. One's a monarch butterfly. They start out as caterpillars, and then they make a chrysalis, and then they turn into butterflies. It's really neat. Wow. But I thought you liked fire trucks, not butterflies. I guess I like both. <laughs> it's good to keep an open mind to new things. And Caillou was determined to do <laughs> just that. Rosie, finish! Caillou and Rosie were enjoying working on a puzzle together until... Caillou, I just spoke with Clementine's mommy. Clementine is coming over for the day. Yay, Clementine! <laughs> the puzzle piece. I was sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be Clementine. You? Hi, Clementine. What do you want to play? Cars or trains or... Actually, Caillou, I'm taking both you and Clementine rock climbing. Rock climbing? Caillou couldn't imagine Mommy taking him rock climbing, 
Surely he'd heard her wrong. The community center is having an open house today. I thought you might like to give their rock climbing wall a try. Caillou liked going to the community center, but he still wasn't so sure about rock climbing. I love rock climbing. I've been before. It's fun. Great. Why don't you kids get ready so we can get going? Hi, I'm Samantha. I'll be your instructor for the day. Are we ready to have some fun? Yes! Okay, now first we need to get you fitted for some handy dandy equipment. Come on over here. It's always important to wear the right shoes and helmets on the climbing wall. Hmm, these look to be about your size. Try them on. How do they feel? Great! <laughs> I feel like a real rock climber. Now it's your turn, Caillou. Don't be shy. Try them on. It's okay, Caillou. There. Now you look like a real rock climber, too. But, um, they're too small. Are you sure, Caillou? They seem to fit fine. Let's try on your helmet. There, look, it's a perfect fit. Really, it feels, um, kind of big. He knew the shoes and helmet fit fine. He was just feeling a little nervous, but he didn't know how to tell anyone. I'm sure they're okay, Caillou. Now, my little climbers, we need to rub this chalk on our hands before we start climbing. I'm not allowed to draw on my hands. It's okay, Caillou. The chalk is so your hands won't be slippery. That's right. Here, we want you to have messy hands. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you the rock climbing wall. Yay! <sighs> so, what do you think? It looks like fun, right? Yes! Caillou was worried. The climbing wall wasn't as big as he imagined it, but it was still very tall. Can we climb now? <laughs> You're an eager beaver, aren't you? First, I need to show you how the harnesses and ropes work. This is how you'll be harnessed to the safety ropes. When you finish climbing the wall, you'll get a fun ride down to the bottom. Down? Don't worry. I'll be here the whole time in case you need any help. Okay, climbers, it's time to chalk and climb. Who wants to go first? Me, 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 me! Caillou wasn't ready to try rock climbing, but he hoped no one would notice. Come on, Caillou, this isn't hide and seek. It's rock <laughs> climbing. <laughs> Let's get to the top and ring the bell. The top? You know, Caillou, rock climbing is actually much easier than it looks. Caillou finally decided he should tell Samantha and Mommy how he really felt. But it looks hard and scary. I'm glad you told me, Caillou, but I would never take you anywhere that wasn't safe. And it really is lots of fun. Hmm. You've climbed trees before, right, Caillou? At the park. What else have you climbed? Ladders with Daddy. Well, rock climbing is a lot like climbing a tree or a ladder. You climb one step at a time using the rocks for grips. This made Caillou feel much better. He was good at climbing trees and ladders. Maybe he could climb the rock wall. Do you think you could give it a try? I'll be here every step of the way. Okay. Remember, it's just like climbing a ladder, one step at a time. 
Caillou climbed up one step, and then another step, and another step. He was beginning to get good at it. I'm going to ring the bell first. <laughs> no way! I am! I did it! I really did it! Yay! Way to go! I knew you could! Way to go, guys! That was awesome! Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing really is lots of fun. Can, Can we, we go, go again? again? And that is how Caillou overcame his fear of rock climbing. You can be my apple taster, Rosie. Mommy was beginning to make some delicious apple crisp when oh. Caillou appeared. Oopie. Oh. <laughs> Don't be upset, Caillou. Trying to carry that many things is difficult for anybody. I'm not upset about that. I'm upset about Andre's shoes. Why are you upset about Andre's shoes? Because they're worn out, so Andre had to get new ones. And now I don't have anyone to play with. Well, why don't you play with Rosie? Because she's too little to play baseball and hockey. Watch. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Glove? Okay, Rosie. Catch. Caillou wasn't surprised that Rosie didn't know how to catch a ball. See? All right, perhaps Rosie is too little for baseball and hockey. But there are other games she can play. Play dolly? Can you play dolly? But that's all she ever wants to play. I don't want to play dollies today. Well, there must be something else you two can play together. Why don't you give it some thought? Dollies! See what I mean? <laughs> Maybe you can keep thinking. At least until the apple crisp is ready. Okay, I'll go put my stuff away. Play dolly? I said no, Rosie. Caillou, play dolly? No more dollies. Caillou was beginning to feel frustrated. He was tired of always playing what Rosie wanted to play. Play dolly, Caillou? Rosie wondered where Caillou had gone. <laughs> Caillou! No sign of Caillou anywhere. <coughs> Just his squeezy frog. Caillou, what was he got foggy? Twenty-one. Twenty-two. <gasps> Caillou? Caillou? Where Caillou? 
<sighs> Hi, sweetie. I don't know where Caillou is. Sorry. Hmm. <sighs> smells like someone's making apple crisp. <coughs> I'd better make some room for it. <sighs> apple crisp is almost ready. Caillou thought about hiding in the backyard. Then he had a better idea. Caillou? I think he went out back, dear. Caillou! Caillou was enjoying hiding from Rosie. Shh. Caillou? And Rosie was enjoying looking for Caillou. long time, Caillou noticed Rosie wasn't looking for him anymore. Where's Rosie, Gilbert? Do you think she stopped looking for me? <coughs> Rosie! <laughs> On hockey, but she's great at hide and seek. <laughs> Rosie, well, find Caillou. Very good, Rosie. I'm glad you two found something you could play together. Now it's your turn to hide. <laughs> Aren't you two going to have some apple crisp? It's ready. Maybe later. Thank you, Mommy. Ready or not, here I come. When they least expected it, Caillou and Rosie had found a game they could play together. But if you think the jelly monster's funny, I've got something you'll really like. It's my favorite. Caillou was having fun looking at Daniel's comic collection. Until... Check it out. The mutant spider from cosmic space. It's about a real spider who turns into a mutant spider from cosmic space. After getting zapped by a bolt of space lightning. <gasps> Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to hear about a mutant spider from cosmic space. Daniel, do you have any other comment? Then, a space meteor lands on him. Uh-huh. But I don't think and I... And then he gets zapped by more space lightning. He's so lucky. Here, you can borrow it for a while. Uh, that's okay, but... Caillou! Daniel! I'm home! Later, buddy. I gotta go. So, did you and Daniel have fun? Uh-huh. <gasps> Caillou tried to tell himself it was just a tiny spider, but he couldn't forget about Daniel's comic. What was that all about? I don't know. I'll go check on him. Feel better now, sweetheart? Uh-huh. Well, now that the storm's over, why don't you play with some of your toys? Okay, Mommy.
thought it was a mutant spider from cosmic space in his toy chest. Until he realized... Ugh! Augie, it's just you! There might be a spider lurking near the sofa. Ah, spider! Gilbert, quit scaring me! Caillou! Look at me! <laughs> Grab your rain boots, Caillou, and come outside! <laughs> Caillou wanted to play. But he was worried he might find a spider in his boot. Or worse, a mutant spider from cosmic space. Uh, sorry, Mommy. I, I have to, um, do some coloring. I got marker on my hands, Daddy. Well, it's a good thing we bought the washable kind. Come on in and give your hands a scrub. I'll see you when I get back from my run. <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Aren't you going to wash your hands? I don't want to. Why not? There's a... a spider in there. It's just a tiny household spider. It isn't anything to be afraid of. How do you know it isn't a mutant spider from cosmic space? A mutant spider? From cosmic space? Yeah, like in Daniel's comic book. You do know that comics are just made up stories, right? They aren't real. <gasps> Daddy, no! Come on, little spider. I'll take you outside with me. You come too, Caillou. After you've washed your hands, there's something I want to show you. There's usually spiders around Mommy's plants, and these are perfectly harmless, not to mention interesting. Look, this is what a garden spider looks like. Let's see if we can find one. Aha, here's one. Oh, and look, a Daddy Longlegs spider. Daddy Longlegs? Where? Right over here. His legs aren't that long, not like the spider in the comic book. No, most real spiders are very tiny. You're much bigger than they are. So what else do you know about spiders? Well, they help protect the plants, they have eight legs, and they make fantastic webs. Wow! A spider made that? That's neat, in a creepy spider kind of way. So what do you think? Not so scary after all, right? No, I guess not. They're nothing like the spider in Daniel's comic book. You mean the mutant spider from Cosmic Space? <laughs> I guess you can't believe everything you read or everything you see. But if you still have that comic, I wouldn't mind taking a peek. Really? Sure. I love comic books. As long as you know they're not real, they can be lots of fun. <laughs> and then our mutant spider got all eight legs stuck in a giant gob of space goo. <laughs> Ew! Hey, keep reading! Caillou was no longer afraid of spiders, even ones from cosmic space. <laughs> <laughs>